Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a plan of a building that you've already made and preserve it on a website that other people who love Valheim like to go on. It's a really fun way to enjoy Valheim, because let me tell you, the difference between just making stuff that no one uses and making something that people actually download, it feels better. You'll have more fun. This video will show you everything you need to do to take your pre-existing building and put it on the website so that other people can download it and use it at their leisure. The website we're going to be using is Valhemians. Valhemians is a fan website and it's a great way to see what other people are building. This is a really simple build, as you can see. You can go to the website and then if you want to download it, you just click this button, get the, get the file, and then put that in your plan build folder, and then boom, you can place it in the game. Watch the rest of the tutorial to see exactly how to do it. To save entire buildings all at once, you'll need to use the plan build mod. There's also another mod that you can use called build share, but I'm going to focus on plan build. In addition to plan build, you'll need the Bepinex mod, and you'll need Jotun, and hook gen patcher. Once you've downloaded and installed everything, it needs to be in the right place. So let me show you where everything needs to be. You have a main Valheim folder. Inside the main Valheim folder, you want the Bepinex folder. Bepinex folder will have all of your mods and everything. And in here, there's a couple different folders that you'll look in. So the hook gen patcher is going to go in the Bepinex patcher section. And then everything else is just a plugin. So it's going to go in the plugins section. So if you go to this config folder, for plan build, this is where it'll save your blueprints. All right, here we are. We have our little house that I'm going to upload to Valhemians as a build file using plan build. To begin, I'll show you two ways to do this. First, we'll look at the simplest way, OK? You're going to open up your plan build blueprint room. And if you don't have that, then what you need to do is go into your craft menu here and then go all the way to the bottom and you'll see it there. You just need one stone to build it. Now that you have your plan build room, open it up and there'll be a ton of different options up here. If this isn't working properly, then it means that either Jotun or your hook gen patcher mod, you need to make sure these are in the right place, okay? But otherwise, it'll work and you'll see what you're seeing here. All we need to do is open our blueprint room, go to tools, and then click create new blueprint. Now, you'll see that there's this circle and you can use your mouse's scroll wheel to make the circle bigger. And you wanna go to the center of the thing you're building and then make the circle big enough so it includes everything. Just click and then boom. Now you can just call it, let's call it open wall hut. And then this category here, uh, you should just leave it as blueprints because I've noticed sometimes that when you change these things too much, people might get confused because if you change this, like watch, we're gonna change it to YouTube and we'll save, right? Now, if we go into our blueprints list, you can see everything. But the thing we just made isn't there because we changed that category. So instead of going into their default blueprints folder, it'll go into its own separate folder. And you can see here under YouTube is our little structure thing. Uh, open it up, right? So you see it. And then you have to use this uh, these shortcuts. So you hold Control and Alt. And then you use your scroll wheel. And this is going to allow you, you can see you lift the structure up or scroll down and you lift the structure down. So normally when you place these, you're always going to just get the, you're going to select it, and then you're going to hold Control Alt, and then just kind of inset it into the ground. Lower it all the way, and then let go of Control and Shift, and then click. See? And now we have our structure. It's actually rooted in the ground. The staircase is partially underground, how it's supposed to be. And you can go inside. There's the fireplace. Roof, walls, chests, everything's empty and ready for someone else to build in. However, I just showed you the quick way of doing this. That's actually not all you can do with the mod. There's another way that's more precise. There's a whole other way of doing it. 
If you go into the tools, then you can look at this add to blueprint selection area. So this allows you to click on a piece and then it'll turn green. If you hold control, you can still do the same thing where you select a portion of everything in the circle. You see, it selects everything above and below. So you can use this and just kind of go around and select everything that way. You see, now if I were to save this, it would have this kind of random clutter over here and we don't want that. So you need to go into your tools again and then click on remove from blueprint selection. And now you can do the same thing. You can hold a circle and everything in the circle will get removed, right? Or you can just click on it and poop, it's not in the blueprint anymore. There's a couple other things that you can do, which I'll cover really quick. There's these things called terrain modification markers, snap point markers, and center point markers. So I'll place a snap point marker and I'll put it, let's say right here, okay? And then I'm going to place a center point marker and I'll also put it in the same spot. And then I'm going to place a terrain modification marker and place it in the same spot. Okay, just like that. Boom, okay, so all three of them are in the exact same spot. You can see that in the summary, it says one snap point, one center marker, and one terrain modifier, right? That means that when we click on edit selection here, we'll now be able to save this whole structure. So if we just click anywhere, we can now copy it, cut it, save it, delete it, clear it, etc. If you copy it, basically it saves it, but when you leave Valheim, it gets rid of the file. So it's temporary. And same thing with cutting, except cutting actually removes the item. What we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. And from now on, it's exactly like you saw it earlier. There's a name, and this time it'll go into the blueprints area. And here I can write a brief description. All right, there we go. And then we just save it. And then boom, now if we go into our blueprints again, right here, and we can see the description. Now, if we go around, you'll notice something different than we, you see how it's spinning around that center point? When you add a center point, it gives the building a front and it makes it easier to place. So you should sort of add the center point as the entrance. That may sound counterintuitive because it's the center point. You might want it to be the center, but it really depends on what you do. So now when we place it, we'll see that it actually leveled some ground in a small area around the front. So that means that the stairs will always sort of make a space for themselves. You can actually edit the setting of the terrain modification marker in the first place, these things here. When you place your terrain modification marker, you can then walk up to it and change its values. So normally you would do something to make it bigger, let's say like 10, something like this. And that way, when you place it, it's gonna get an automatic plateau to make sure that it's gonna maintain its structure. And now we've actually done everything we need to do in Valheim. We have our blueprint in our default blueprint area. I've placed it and confirmed it kind of works how I want it to at this point. Now that we've actually saved our blueprint and we've placed one to make sure it works properly, what we can do is go into our plan build mod here. You can see we have plan build, translations, all this stuff. And we actually want to go up because we're looking for the config file, which is up in the Bepinex folder. There's a config folder. And then inside that is this plan build folder. And there are all of your blueprints. But if we scroll down, we will find our blueprint. This is the one I want to use, JP Valheim Wallless Hut. This, fold, this file here is just an image it's just a PNG image, like any other image, see? It gives you a preview of the item. But the actual blueprint folder is this thing right here. This is the real file. This is the thing you need to upload, okay? See? Now, in addition to this, we're gonna want uh, just a really basic kind of image, okay? So to get a good image, just go into Valheim and then use Control and F3. That's gonna get rid of your UI. 
and then you can just take a screenshot and we're gonna save it. But it is quite useful because it'll show people what the thing looks like and then more people will download it. If you skip out on the image part, then less people are gonna download the thing in the first place. Next, we need to go to the Valhemians website. This is where we'll upload the builds too. Go to Valhemians and then you'll need to make an account if you don't have one already. It's a pretty simple account process. Once you've made your account, click on this create content button up here and then it'll show you manage your content. You can see I write a bunch of articles for the YouTube videos I make. But you're gonna click on this create new button and then go over here and click on build. This is gonna allow you to add one of the builds. Moving forward, you gotta pick a build title and we're gonna make this a, just a really, really basic little, I guess, starter home. No YouTube video. You don't need a YouTube video for that, don't worry. And then here, just put a brief description of your build. And here we have to upload the build file. When you're doing this part, make sure you actually save it. So I found the file earlier, but then I didn't save it, so it didn't show up. So, so once you click it, then you have to click save there. And then it'll show up like this. We've added our blueprint. We've put in a brief amount of text. Now all we need to do is add our primary image. Pick the image that was the screenshot that we took earlier, and that's fine. And then you just go over here, and at this point, we're basically done. You can just click Publish Live. So now, anybody can go to this Valhemians website, and then all they have to do is click Download Valheim Build, and then that's going to download the same file that I uploaded earlier. And then when you use plan build, you can just drop it in like I showed you earlier. Consider checking out my tutorial about getting your very own dedicated Valheim server. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.